Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. As you can probably tell from the casual casual background, I have my tapestry. I'm sitting in bed. I am starting a weekend reading vlog. It's been a very long week. I have not been able to read much. I'm still reading Final Girls by Riley Sager. I think you can't even read that, can you? Is it this way? Yes, Final Girls by Riley Sager, and I am enjoying it. I'm, I'm like 60%-ish done. I'm on page 226. Um, it's around 6 p.m. on Friday night, and I had a super long day at work today. Um, we did our pre-K presidential ball because we've been talking about presidents and money all month. So our like end of the unit party was a presidential ball, which meant that we dressed up and it was like super fancy and we had like a photo area and a red carpet and the tables were like this long banquet table with special food and it was dancing and uh, just all of the things. And because I teach two classes, I had to do it twice back to back. So from basically, and like this week, it's just been really long. I've done stuff before work, worked all day, done stuff after work, and then wake up and do it again the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day. So I have felt like just coming home so much today and just crawling into bed and reading some of my book. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, and I thought I would just share my reading with you this weekend. I don't really have any plans other than relaxing, um, because I don't know what the weather is supposed to be like. I know it's rained the last two weekends, and I do know that I need to do some filming this weekend. I, I have made great progress. I only have about... 50 pages left to go so I took a little break I read a big chunk and then I took a break because I was getting tired and I didn't want to go to bed like right away and since I was reading in bed it would have been so easy to do that so I got up I had a little bit of dinner watched some TV with my husband and now I am crawling back into bed it's a little bit after 9 p.m and I'll probably finish this up tonight or early in the morning so I'll check in with you guys early tomorrow morning good morning friends it's Saturday morning it's eight o'clock I just woke up um, I haven't even put on my watch yet or anything but it is eight o'clock 804 to be exact um i haven't even had a cup of coffee i'm actually brewing it right now but i did finish final girls by riley saker last night and i have some thoughts on this one um i'm gonna rate it 3.5 stars maybe 3.75 stars but i think on goodreads i'm gonna rate it a three and here's why is it was good however it didn't get really good until like the last quarter of the book and what Riley Sager does really well is shocks you you know like I never see his endings coming and then as you're reading it, you're like oh that's what it is that's what it is and it's like nope that's not what it is so he has a really good way of like making you think one thing and then like a 180 and it's like something else so i really love the endings of his books um it was the same way with the last time i lied um however and it was good i was entertained the entire time but it wasn't like and i liked the idea of the final girls but it was basically just like going through the motions and I don't know so three stars on Goodreads between a three and a four star read um but it was just the pacing towards the end is much more go 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 because it's so interesting and towards the beginning it's slower and there's not that much happening except for like introducing characters and what kind of the plot is and setting it up and stuff like that 
but I did like the mix of present day and the past um, what happened at Pine Cottage and trying to figure out like who done it what happened was the main character responsible and I liked the unreliable um, characters in the story and yeah but there was like some cheating I didn't like that so much and um but yeah that's all I'm gonna say for now so I'm gonna get my coffee and then I'll decide what my next read's gonna be and I'll share that with you later <music> checking in to let you know that I am going to be reading some poetry next but I have not started reading it yet um, I filmed a video I'm going to work on some editing and then I'll probably read these while it like uploads and stuff like that <music> doing a late breakfast. I've been editing for a while. I'm hungry. So I've just been editing for a while so I made some egg whites with spinach and cheese and I'm just gonna top it with some of my everything but the bagel seasoning and it's just so good. Still editing. It's almost lunchtime. That's why I made my um, egg whites and I love the spinach and mozzarella cheese in it and with that everything bagel seasoning on the top um, I also painted my nails you can hardly tell um, but it's this color and it's the color last nighty um, so I did that back to editing and eating I just finished editing my weekly vlog for my teacher channel it's an hour and two minutes so it took me quite a while to edit it it's 105 now um, I think I'm gonna hop in bed and probably finish out this poetry collection maybe start the next one but I just wanted to update you guys far I am on page what was it like 42 yeah I think I'm starting page 42 and I'm already loving this collection okay friends I thought I would check in it's about three o'clock um my husband and I um tried out a new pizza place for lunch called Marco's Pizza because that's the recommendation we got from our neighbor when we moved here like three years ago. We finally tried it out. Um, I've been reading this um, prior to the whole lunch and pizza thing because after we went and got pizza, then we came home, ate, and watched an episode of The Punisher. We're on season two, episode two. We just finished that. Um, but currently, I am on page 108 of this and I am loving it so good um 
mm, there's things that are sticking out to me so I am highlighting things but it's just so good but now that we finished watching that episode of the Punisher I'm gonna heat up my heater pad I'm coming back to bed my husband's also taking a nap so I'm just gonna be reading probably the rest of this and possibly starting the next collection hi guys it's about 6 p.m. and I just wanted to check in and let you know the update um, I did take a nap from about 2 until 5 and I woke up at 5 and I just um, worked on my Goodreads review for um, The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one which I'm about to talk to you about because I did finish this before I laid down and took a nap and then I started The Mermaid's Voice Returns in this one and I'm currently on page 14 and I wanted to talk to you about the first collection um, before I start reading more of this one and editing more videos, which I'm about to hop back in the office to do. I already have my um, blue light filter glasses at the ready. Okay, so let's talk about this collection. I was very surprised to see that not a lot of people connected with this collection, but they loved her first collection. I loved her first collection. I gave it five stars and I also gave this five stars. I think I liked this collection more than the first one. It's been a while since I've read it, so maybe I need to like go back at some point this year and read it. I just remember feeling like every poem stuck out to me and I remember saying that I didn't tap anything because I would have tapped everything in the first collection. So I really did love that one but this one I felt like a deep-seated like connection to um, and it does have lots of trigger warnings but I do like that Amanda Lovelace always puts trigger warnings right in the beginning of her collections so there's a long list right here of trigger warnings um, about child abuse intimate partner abuse sexual assault eating disorders trauma death murder violence fire menstruation transphobia and more um, so it's all right in here and she encourages self-care before during and after reading this collection um i thought that this collection was so much better than the first from what i remember because <laughs> i could be wrong but i really loved every second of every poem um it really depends on like what type of poetry you like though because i think the message is going to be strong for anyone um there were some poems that repeated lots of words and i know that gets on some people's nerves there were lots of like cutouts and um i just i just loved it um but i wanted to say i almost bumped it down to four stars instead of five stars only because this book really centers around being strong women and standing up for what we believe um, despite our differences bonding together loving one another supporting one another not comparing ourselves to one another or like hating on other women but like you just feel so powerful after reading these poems like we're a big sisterhood and we need to look out for one another and we need to be on each other's side and like everything like that then towards the there was like a certain part it had a heavy political nod to the democratic party and i'm not going to talk about my political views in this i'm not going to say i'm a democrat or i'm a republican or that i disagree with the poet's point of view i'm just saying that with a strong up until that point the flow of the collection the message of the collection was you know support one another um you know, there was like one poem that was talking about like, we guard the bathroom doors for each other and, you know, things like that and how, I don't know, there were just several messages throughout like support women, women support women no matter what. And then it talked about this political view and it just felt to me like it ostracized our Republican sisters and that just disrupted the flow because it was like, okay, so was I reading the message wrong? It's only you find your own tribe and you protect that own tribe. Um, it was a lot more about, you know, 
women being able to stand up to men who took advantage of them or abused them in one way or another. Um, and I know that that message was great, but the underlying theme to me was women, sisterhood, and then it threw in that political view, like if you didn't, if you weren't a Democrat and you didn't want Hillary to win for president, or if you believe in the wall and you, and you don't feel the way that the poet does, that like, you don't really count. And I know that probably was not the poet's intention. However, that's just how I personally felt. And I don't know. So I almost bumped it down for a star, but I didn't because I get where she was going with that. And I loved it. So I actually really liked this one more than the first, I think, but I'm going into the third one. And a lot of people are saying like the first was the best and the second one let them down a little bit. And then the third one like brought it back for them. So I'm wondering if I'm like the oddball and I like the second collection the most. I don't know. It just like really spoke to me. And there are several times that I highlighted things. Um, it just like really spoke to me. Um, and I liked like the witch vibes throughout and I liked the fire and I liked the, um, like the coven and stuff like that. Um, oh, here's one. I like this on page 47. It's just part of a poem. It's not like the entire thing, but it curves and fat and rolls are a colossal fuck you to the patriarchy or accidental rebellion. The body rejects your desires. I don't know. That was just really cool. Five stars to this collection. Moving on to the third and final in the trilogy of, um, women are magic. I think is what it's called. Yeah, women are some kind of magic. Okay, I'm here with an update. I'm making some coffee, but I am on page 100 of this collection. Um, so far, the mermaid's voice returns in this one, and I really do like the um, the hope that this one shows, um, and the. How do I say the um the emotion, the vulnerability. That's what I was looking for. Um, I like that it's showing a lot of vulnerability. However, I don't think I'm loving it as much as the witch burns in this one. just finished reading this collection and I know I said that I probably love um, The Witch Will Burn in this one more and I probably do like it a little bit more. However, maybe this one. I don't know. It's so hard to choose. I really love the hope and the the message of this collection. Um, I'm not completely done. I stopped with um, the rest of the story belongs to you and it's like a note from their, um, it's a note to the readers and the contributors, which I loved that Amanda Lovelace included other poets in her book. It's almost like she knew because she was a New York Times bestselling poet that she gave other poets an opportunity to get into one of her collections and maybe get their voice heard. Um, some of them I have heard of, others I had not, um, but I thought it was a nice addition um, and it was only in the last part so it didn't disrupt from like the collection at all in my opinion. It added to it. It gave it another layer. Um, the beginning was a little dull. Um, even though I was enjoying it, it just wasn't like packing that usual punch. Um, but then I think I got to like the second part and it just like opened up my eyes to everything. And 
the pain that we can sometimes go through but that we can emerge on the other side a survivor um that really like hit home i don't know i love these collections so much i think i'm gonna do individual reviews but i feel like i need to reread the first one so should i do that i don't know anyway i'm gonna finish reading this and then we're gonna pick out what i'm gonna start reading next okay i'm trying to decide what to read next i thought about reading dirty pretty things but I'm writing the high of Amanda Lovelace and her second and third collection. So I don't think I want to dive into any more poetry, but I thought it would be a good idea to read these, which are some graphic novels. Um, this one is called Sheets. It's about a young girl whose family owns a laundromat and there's a ghost at the laundromat. So that is really cute. Plus, I love the coloring. And then I also have the third um, graphic novel in the Babysitter's Club series, Marianne Saves the Day. So I might read this one as well. So I think these are going to be my next reads. Okay, last update, reading update for the night. I just finished reading Sheets by Brenna tumblr and i guess she wrote the story and did the art which is amazing my the art was my favorite part it's just so pretty the coloring the textures the tones it's just so pretty the paneling was great however the story just felt like it was missing chunks connecting the different chapters and it kind of felt like I was missing out on some of the pieces and some of the backstory of the characters. However, I will definitely seek out this um, author again. Hopefully they have some other stuff. I'm going to look into that, but I rated this three out of five stars. Next up, I will be picking up the third volume in the Babysitter's Club series, but I'm going to heat up some pizza and watch some TV and then head to bed and start reading. I'll check in with you guys in the morning. Good morning, friends. Happy Sunday morning. It is currently 8 43 and i'm here to wrap up the weekend reading vlog so i can start editing this for you guys but i wanted to update you on the babysitter's club because this is what i was last reading yesterday so i started this and i read 118 pages last night and um, that was about 73 percent of the graphic novel and then i finished it this morning so I'm really in love with this series. It's so nostalgic for me because The Babysitter's Club is something that I read as a young child, a tween, and um, I read them as they came out. So this series is really nostalgic for me and seeing it in graphic novel form by Raina Telgemeier is just like the best because I love her artwork. And um, I don't remember this series like things that happen in certain books but I do remember like big chunks of stories that happened and you kind of get two of those in this. Um, we finally meet a new character that I remember very well. We also have a big fight between the babysitter's club members and it kind of is a little disastrous for some of their babysitting jobs. We also see Mary Ann um, kind of grow up and mature a little bit or prove that she's mature to her father um we also see what i love about this series is that i read like i said i read this originally as a child and this is giving children now a whole new take like it's making new people fall in love with the series and it tackles so many things like divorce and um arguments with your friends and arguments with your parents and responsibility and friendship and just so many things like packed into the story and it's all done so seamlessly and in such a nice understandable way that it doesn't seem odd or different or um I don't know so I absolutely loved this I rated it five stars and I had a really great reading weekend you guys i read all of this so i finished final girls by Ravi sager and i gave it 3.5 stars i read on um, the second and the third 
um, volume from, um, what's it called again? I always forget the name of the series. Um, Women are some kind of magic series. Absolutely loved this five stars. Absolutely loved this five stars. I do think I liked this one the best in the series um but i think i'm an oddball when it comes to that but i really liked this as well um and then i picked up some graphic novels i picked up sheets which i rated three stars which was kind of disappointing i don't even know if i talked to you guys about this um but this just felt like i loved the coloring i mean absolutely gorgeous and i love that like one person wrote the story and did the artwork that way it was really that person's vision um here she is right here um however i think i loved the art more artwork more than i loved the story because the story was super cute and it could have been great. However, I felt like there were chunks missing and um, it like in between chapters and it just didn't flow as like a continuous collection. I'm wondering if this is like a serialized like webcomic and it just like came to life. Not sure. But that's kind of what it feels like. Um, but it would have really... Um, benefited from filling in those missing chunks um and then i finished up the weekend reading the babysitters club which i just talked to you about loved this so i rated this three stars and then i rated this five stars so moving on between now and when readerama starts um, i'm gonna be posting my tbr for that i do have four books picked out to read for that but I wanted to pick something either short or something like I'm really kind of in the mood for. So I have two books. Let me show you those. Okay, so like I said, I have two books picked out. Not sure which one I'm going to read yet. Um, I picked this one because I've heard nothing but good things about the story um, from when it released. I don't even know. I think it was like 2017. Let me see. Oh, 2016. So... For several years now, I've been hearing five-star reviews, people raving about this book, and I got it a couple of years ago now on um, Book Outlet, and I just haven't read it. It's been sitting over here on my shelf. So maybe I'll finally pick this up, and I've been in the mood to give um, The Handmaiden's Tale another try. Um, I know it's really popular on Hulu. I have not watched it because um, I don't have Hulu. I don't have like a subscription to Hulu. But, as you guys know, my favorite book of all time is The Giver. And every time I talk about The Giver, my mom says, read this book. And this is a book that kind of like sticks out to her. Um, and she really enjoyed it. So, I tried it once before. I had borrowed it from the library. I wasn't quite in the mood for it at the time. And I returned it without finishing it. So, I think maybe I'm in the mood for it again. And I think the reason why is because like I think... A lot of people are talking about the show because of Hulu and when I was recently in Barnes & Noble um, there were two ladies in there and the one woman was helping her friend find a book and she said you have to get this book it is so good so good so good and the lady did and then she picked up a copy I guess off the shelf and the lady was like not that copy get the one with the pretty cover and I was laughing and like the stack behind them and they were just like laughing and they saw me and I was like I couldn't help but over here so I definitely think that I should go ahead and read this and maybe I'll love it who knows so it's gonna be one of these maybe I'll do a try a chapter and see which one I'm more in the mood for but those are my possible reading plans before Readerama starts and then during Readerama like I said I'll have my TBR posted soon so check that out but thank you so much for joining me for this reading vlog this weekend I got a lot of reading done and I'm happy about that but I'll see you guys again in my next video bye